Ethereum is one of the most popular cryptocurrencies out there, currently second only to Bitcoin. But how do you mine Ethereum with your Mac and can you even do this? The answer is yes you can and it's really easy and I'm going to show you how to do it in today's episode. Hey, I'm Ryan from cloudmoney.co, making crypto easy and in this video I'm going to walk you step by step through exactly what you need to do to start mining Ethereum on your Mac and it is super easy. It's way easier than you would think. And so we're going to use a program called Minergate, which is a free program for your Mac that you can download and start using straight away. So I'll leave the links to Minergate in the description down below. If you go ahead and click that link, you'll see all the details here. There's multiple different coins you can mine, including Ethereum. So Ethereum is the coin that we want to be mining. So that is great. So go ahead, click download and start mining. That will download the program and then just go ahead and install it. Really simple to do. Once you've installed it, go ahead and create an account and that will bring you to Minergate section. So in here, I'll just quickly walk you through these tabs. You've got your wallet, which is where you keep all your coins. You've got your smart miner. And so this is something really cool about Minergate. They go out there and they assess the profitability of the market. They look at the price of the coins, the mining difficulty, and then they work out what's going to be best for your computer to mine. And so if I start mining, you can see that it is choosing XMR or Monero to mine for me. So that is what it assumes is the most profitable. Or you can go to the miner section and you can manually choose which ones you want to mine. You can see at the moment I'm mining Bitcoin gold because I previously made a video of that. So let's pause Bitcoin gold. If we click show all here, this will show us all our coins. Now let's hide most of them because what we're really interested in is Ethereum. And so we can see ETH here. Don't get them confused between Ethereum or Ethereum Classic. So ETC is Ethereum Classic worth about $30 each at the moment as I record this. ETH is Ethereum worth over $1,000. And so it's up to you which one you want to mine, but just make sure you get the right one. So in this video, we want to mine Ethereum. So how do we do that? All we need to do is go ahead and click start mining. And we can see the CPU cores here. And so I can mine one using just one core or I can mine using all of my cores. Now, when you click start mining, it's not doing it for me now because I've already done it today, but it may come up with this DAG and it'll go through and it'll show you a percentage, 1%, 2%, etc. So this is like a data file of the blockchain that you need to download before you can start mining. And so that can take some time depending on your internet connection. So just give it time. It will download and then it will start mining for you. I think that's updated every 100 hours or so, so every three or four days, maybe four or five days. Um, so you will need to do that every now and then, but it's not that hard, doesn't take that long. So as you can see, not much is happening at the moment, but I am currently recording video on this computer as well as doing other things. So it's not really freed up to do what it needs to do to mine the Ethereum. But when my computer is idle, when it's just sitting there, I get about 580 killer hashes to mine Ethereum with. And so as you can see, I've already got some Ethereum received, which is great because I mined that overnight. I've also got some Ethereum Classic as well, which I have mined previously. So what you do is you press start mining, you choose the amount of cores that you want, some people say don't use all the cores because it really slows down your computer. I find if I use all four, I can still do everything basic that I need to do on my computer. So all the web browsing, all of that sort of stuff, I can still do. I can watch YouTube. When it comes to video editing, when it comes to playing games on my computer, I do need to lower that or stop it completely. But when I'm just using my computer for normal things, it seems to be fine. It depends on your computer. So give each a try and see how it goes for you. I also recommend if you're going to be mining Ethereum on your Mac that you download this free program called SMC Fan Control because mining Ethereum makes your computer extremely hot and you don't want to burn out your Mac, especially with how hard it is to replace the parts. So go ahead, download SMC Fan Control, which allows you to monitor the temperature of your computer. You can turn up the fan as well to bring down the temperature. 
Uh, so I've showed you how to mine it. If you have a GPU, you can mine with that as well. So once you've mined and you've received some ether, you can go into your wallet. And so you can see my ether here, and I could go ahead and withdraw some ether to an address. There are some minimum withdrawal fees, so I would need to mine some more ether before it would be worthwhile actually withdrawing that. But there you have it. That is how you mine Ethereum with your Mac. Really easy to do. You don't need to know any code or anything like that. It's just the free program Minergate. And again, the links to that will be in the description down below. That's my affiliate link. So if you go through that, it doesn't cost you any money, but I do make a little bit if you go through that link. So thanks to everyone who does that. So download Minergate, start using it to mine Ethereum or one of the other cryptocurrencies out there. And don't forget to get SMC fan control to make sure that you monitor and keep the temperature of your computer down. If you like this video and found it helpful, please give us a like to help spread this word to other Mac users out there. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as we're uploading new tutorials every single day. If you like this video, then check out this one on what's the most profitable coin to mine with your Mac. It might not actually be Ethereum. So you need to work out what's the most profitable coin to mine because that can be the difference between earning five times the amount if you choose the wrong coin. So make sure you choose the right one, check that out, or check out this video that I've got on cloud mining and using other people's computers to mine for you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, best of luck out there.